There's a lesson to be learned there. Way out there. 150 yards, don't know how to get him. Fish on. Yeah, pretty good. It might be a tough day. I know every fish is probably going to count. Oh, EFL 2021, first round. Here we go, boys. Where's that? EFL game time. Let's go. Why can't there not be one in every pocket? Good freaking you. Yeah, two minute break off penalty. Eight pounder. Dude, second one. Dang. Well, that's good. I'm glad he got a two minute penalty for breaking off. We're back even now. They're right here. This is a good spot. Welcome to the Tidewater Boats Elite Fishing League, presented by Yamaha Outboards. Once notified, the pros have just 24 hours to travel to and check in at the designated location. We don't know where we're going yet, but we're about to find out. Upon arrival and after a brief meeting, they are escorted to the official landing spot for their week of competition. Don't you love the EFL? You never know where you're gonna go fishing. Their goal, catch, weigh, and release as many scoreable redfish as possible during a round of competition. Ooh, baby. Throughout the season, the field will battle to earn a spot in the Tidewater Tour Championship and their shot at a $100,000 payday. I'm Pat Malone, and this week it's the Berkeley Bash presented by Visit South Walton, Florida, qualifying round number one in the 2021 tournament season. Let's get right to the action and meet this week's Frog Togs Field of Pros. I'm Austin Angel from Baytown, Texas. I am Kevin Harvey from Berg, Louisiana. I'm Captain Chip Harmon from Aransas Pass, Texas. I'm Chuck Braddock, I'm from Dayton, Texas. My name is Steve Ald, I'm from Conroe, Texas. Man, we're at the uh, Silver Slipper, getting ready to blast off. We'll know shortly in about five minutes which way we're headed and what we're gonna do today. Man, we're headed to Shell Beach, low ramp. We're fishing the Biloxi Marsh, we got the text from Pat. Put as many fishes across the bow of that boat as I can. You know, back in the day when I didn't know the areas, I'd go for like nine days before the tournament would even start. As usual, because I work all the time, it's going to be in some area I've not fished before. I've fished pretty much everywhere in Louisiana but this place. Super Smash. See if I cannot find something to catch today. Looks good, looks real good. We're gonna go way out here. Tides up, that's a plus. We can get in some of these solid, shallow water places that wasn't too presentable the last time, so I think we'll be all right. As part of a very exclusive field, an EFL pro must fish head to head on mystery waters with no practice time. Anglers will be competing within a strict set of boundaries, fishing in two periods, a four hour period in the morning, come in for a short break, and another four hour period in the afternoon. Got my water looks pretty. This week it's all about quantity and avoiding those costly penalties. Three, two, one. Lines in. Let's get the show started. Oh, that was one. Where'd he go? Dang it. Fish on. Okay, in the first five minutes, I find what I think is going to be pretty good for the day. As soon as we took that fish off and I released it, the very next cast, I caught another one. So I was pretty confident at that point. The score tracker hadn't gone off yet. Like I said, we'd only been there maybe five minutes and I've already got my second fish in the boat. Two pounds even. And then things start happening. No trolling motor. It was not moving. There was nothing going on. I cleared grass from it. I mean, it's hard enough if everything goes right to beat these guys, but when you have something like a major catastrophe like a trolling motor not working, it's it's near impossible. Damn that penalty. Broke off, first fish of the morning, pop. Good fish too, boys. How did that happen? How did that happen? That's not the way I wanted to start off the first round of the EFL. Ah, two minute plenty, boy, boys. I'm in the box. I broke one off, first fish of the day. Good lordy. Can I get a sip of water? I can't do anything. Uh, they won't even let you drink water. Okay. 
Once you catch one fish, it tells you a lot about what you need to do and where the fish are actually holding that. So the water was up about a foot above normal. So once I started catching a few fish, scoreable fish, it kind of told me what I needed to do and I just kind of jumped on it. 6.95 pounds. Thanks, violations. Boom! Eight and ten. That's a good fish. Eight and a quarter. 8.25. Eight and a quarter. Look at this. Huh? Get you some of that, huh? Look at them shoulders. Oh, look at you, beauty. First round, here we go, boys. I was struggling. It was hard to find fish. 150 yards, I don't know how to get him. We'll be right back with more action from period one here at the Berkeley Bash. Born in the South, crafted with distinction, engineered to fish. Tidewater Boats has developed into the fastest growing marine brand. Pleasure fishing boats 18 to 32 feet. Whether you are on the water with family and friends or tournament fishing, Tidewater Boats. See a local dealer and pick out yours today. Tidewater Boats is the official boat of the Elite Redfish series. At the pinnacle of super high output, four-stroke outboard performance, you'll find Yamaha VMAX SHO, Yamaha's game-changing SHO technology. From exhilarating V6 models to the sleek inline fours, there's a VMAX SHO for everything from bass to bonefish. It's an extended family of four-strokes, engineered for lightweight, inspiring performance, and rock-solid reliability. Discover VMAX SHO and elevate your expectations. Welcome back to the Elite Fishing League and the Berkeley Bass presented by Visit South Walton. All right. Fish on, baby. Oh, look at you, beauty. 6.45 pounds. 6.45? Yes, sir. Like 6.45. DFL 2021 first round here we go boys on the board 7.6 agreed So I've never fished a competition completely blind where you just have no pre-fishing. So that's what makes us so unique is you, you don't have that, that kind of time to go out and scout the water and all that. Way out there. 150 yards, I don't know how to get him. I'm all jammed up. Oh, he's still on. I'll pull down. Good fish, too. Six and a half, seven pounder, maybe. Fatty. Boom, get in there. Big as I thought we would take him. Man, there just aren't many of them. Uh, 490. Oh. 4.90. Oh, 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 oh. 
you know everybody's a great, great fisherman out here. So um, it, it, it's a pretty awesome deal to be able to, to fish against these high quality guys. Thank you there, little buddy. It might be a tough day. I know every fish is probably gonna count today. Probably can't not miss one or lose one. Where the weather is. It was slow. I, mean, I was in a new area. I was struggling. I was, it was hard to find fish. I cannot believe I broke that fish off. He's gonna eat. He's moving a little too much. <laughs> oh, Landed. Four point eight zero pounds. Three. The most guys I was worried about going into it was Austin Angel. Of course, Austin is a great angler. Kevin Harvey just caught a 4.8 pound. Brings him up to 24.9. Has anybody else caught one? Chuck Braddock caught a 7.6. He's in third. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. Right now we're throwing that weedless frog. And uh, it's turning up a lot of a lot of bait it kind of is more of a crab imitation type lure I think than it is really a frog but it's a bass lure that I've had great success with in in places in Texas and hopefully here in Louisiana Mr. Kevin Harvey just called another 7.70 pound fish. Second place is Austin Angel with 12.65 pounds. Beautiful marsh, the Biloxi Marsh. I mean, there's, it's pretty everywhere. I just, I just know fish. I couldn't find them. The most important thing is figuring out what can you work through. On the ride through, I like to look for bait, moving water, uh, grass conditions, because it doesn't matter if there's fish there or not if you can't get the lure through it. That's a real important part of the whole equation. Come on, baby. That's a fatty. That's a fatty. Get in the net. Get in the net. Get in there, boy. 6.20. Seven point seven zero. Seven Right. EFL game time. Let's go. I set the hook and then sure enough, break off. Two minute penalty. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Yeah, two minute break off penalty. Eight pounder. Dude, second one a day. What? Oh, right to the left. Oh, you didn't see their wake. Well, I brought a smaller boat because when you just have 30 minutes, uh, you kind of want a shallow boat, get up in the tower and kind of look around, see where good areas are, where good pockets might be. In my bigger boat, it would have been a lot harder to do that. Frustrating, of course, but uh, with these penalties, it kind of puts you off your game, kind of gets you frustrated, and makes you want to go faster. Three, two, one, back to fishing. Well, that's good. I'm glad he got a two minute paper break and all. We're back even now. <laughs> Square it up.
I can't add this. I was back home, make fun of me. We're going to get a Berkeley Gulp, the new swim mullet. Get a black chartreuse or morning glory chartreuse. In case we see one, we can sight cast him. Two what? Two ten. Two ten. I think it's close. Partner, go play. Right, let's make another run, fellas. And blew these out. With this win, it's not going to be fun. Set the hook every time. This ain't going to work. That's the only way you're going to catch him. I don't know which way to go. Got the little fish. Full of crab. Beautiful. I catch more fish. Where's that? Number two. The Waterloo Rods Power Mag, the number one choice of EFL pros like the 2021 national champion, Kevin Aiken. Waterloo Rods, might as well fish the best. The catch of a lifetime or tournament competition, when it matters most, you can trust the Brecknell Electro Samson Scale. 6.4 pounds. 9.35. 7.95. 10.3. 4.3. 7.5. 7.00. Man, what a way to finish the day. 10 pounder. A 10 pounder, guys. On the money. The official scale of the Elite Fishing League. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. I ain't no little one. Almost boat flipped it. Welcome back to the Tidewater Boats Elite Fishing League presented by Yamaha Outboards. Also brought to you by McLean Trailers, Frog Togs, Berkeley Fishing, Waterloo Rods, the Silver Slipper Casino, and other fine sponsors. Four point one five pounds. Blooded him up. Be all right. There's a lesson to be learned there for everybody watching at home, and the lesson is if you think you got a fish that hits you, set the hook every time. If it's grass, it'll be okay. If it's a fish, that's the only way you're gonna catch him. This ain't gonna work. I like it to be calm. I'm, I'm better, you know, my strengths are, I'm not gonna run around and be in flat water. I don't know which way to go. 30 mile an hour south winds, I mean, it was brutal. This boat ride, we're probably about to take, it could be a, a while, you know what I mean? As the day goes on, I got an update, and Kevin, I remember he had a, a little stretch there. He popped like five fish. Now we're really going on a boat ride. 
those four or five fish could win the tournament for Kevin. So, I, yeah, I, it made me go, you know, go look for him, go a little quicker, kind of try to figure out what the plan was. We're 20 pounds behind. Here we go. Let's stay on. That's that about Six, five, 4.65 pounds. Yes, sir, agree. Got these little fish. What a crab. Beautiful. Blessed Marsh Gold. I have 10 minutes left. I need another bait, but I ain't got time. Four minutes left. <laughs> Gotta get him netted. Period ends in nine, eight, <clears throat> seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. End of period one of the Berkeley Bash. Literally, I got it in the net with one minute to spare. Well, I couldn't even see the fish through all the grass. When I finally netted it, it looked like I netted 10 pounds of grass and a seven pound fish, and you couldn't even see the fish. 12, 15, lines out of the water. And there one go. See the push? He's lucky. Gotta have a little bit better morning. And just to let you know that you end the uh, first period, but because your fish was secured in the net. The way it's structured is you have your first four, four hour period, um, and then you have a, an hour break, and then you have another four hour period in the afternoon. And, um, you know, so eight hours total, but it is broken up with an hour in the middle. Seven pounds even. Going into that second period, I was feeling like, hey, I could pull this out. 2021 Elite Fishing League will be right back after this break. Period one ends with Kevin Harvey leading the field with 36.75 pounds. But there's a lot of fishing yet to come when we return for period two at the Berkeley Bash. Plain Trailers, the official trailer of the Elite Redfish Series. Born in the South, crafted with distinction, engineered to fish. Tidewater Boats has developed into the fastest growing marine brand. Pleasure fishing boats 18 to 32 feet. Whether you are on the water with family and friends or tournament fishing, Tidewater Boats. See a local dealer and pick out yours today. Tidewater Boats is the official boat of the Elite Redfish Series. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Welcome back to the Berkeley Bash, presented by South Walton, Florida. 
South Walton is located on the Northwest Florida Panhandle along the Gulf of Mexico and is best known for its 26 miles of sugar white sand, turquoise water, and its 16 unique beach neighborhoods. Family, food, and fun are just a few of the reasons to choose South Walton, Florida as your vacation destination. Five, four, three, two, one. Pier two has started for the Berkeley Bash. All right, the goal is to do better than we did period one. You feel good? You feel good? Got him. Starting to look like a murder scene in here. <laughs> The equipment I always use for sight fishing is a five and a half inch Berkeley power bait. It's a big profile. It's a five aught swim bait hook. Um, I fish like seven three heavy rods because we're way up on the tower, seven foot. I mean, it helps you just get the better hook set, cast longer. Uh, I have it paired up on uh, Abu Garcia uh, Revo, uh, seven to one gear ratio. Get those fish in the boat, get on to the next one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A little. 3.75 pounds. Yes, sir. Move a fish. By noon, the sun come out, things change, and that's when they started hitting. Six point six five pounds. Got him on a run. Well, I'm trying to catch another one, boys. I see Harvey, though. I gotta take that, Tim. Looks like it. After the first period, I got roughly 36, 37 pounds, about 30 pound lead over my next competitor. Going into the next period, I knew I had a good cushion, but in this format, 20, 30 pounds is only a couple of fish. Four point six zero pounds. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Out here in the water, I mean, we turn them anglers, and we go through a lot of fish, do a lot of scouting, preparation, spend a lot of money doing this stuff. If it wasn't for our sponsors, this wouldn't be possible. Of course, Berkeley is pretty much the brand that I've always used before I got on board with them. Uh, everything I've used was pretty much Berkeley. Frog talks, um, they'll keep you comfortable and dry even on these harsh days when rain and uh, weather doesn't permit and you gotta be out there in those elements. Yeah, he's pretty good. Oh, that's a good, that's a pumpkin. The uh, scoreable fish for elite fishing league is three pounds to 10 pounds. 2.95 pounds, no not a scoreable fish. He wasn't as big as I thought he was. That's for sure. But he certainly ate. Dang, that's two. Oh. 
I hooked that with dynamite. That's a good one. That's good enough. Mm -hmm. Not on this dude. 5.5 pounds. He wanted that one. I kicked him up, I threw on him, he went, sat down on me. I thought he better in the grass, which he did. As I was coming across him, I just seen his nose sticking out of a small bowl. I just finessed it. Couldn't resist. God dang. Ready, bud? Yeah, I know. All right. Six pounds even. Six up. This is a good spot. <laughs> Kevin Harvey's a really good fisherman. There he is. In the ditch. Hello. 4.10 pounds. So I was using a three inch Berkeley Gulp, and again, I had a lot of refusals on that bait, which was fine because it's a you know statistical numbers game at that point. If you're fishing where there's inactive fish, then you know you just hope you keep having them bite a lure until they'll finally, you know, you'll boat one. And so I was using a three inch New Penny Berkeley Gulf shrimp on a weedless, large weedless hood. I gotta push off again. Uh, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah, that's a five minute penalty, right? Really? Yeah, you got out of the boat. All right, start the time. Right there, boys. He fell. We're trying to scare Harvey, but I think he's scaring us more than we're scaring him right now. How did he not eat that? Don't you do it. Looks like another sexer. Ooh. There we go. Sometimes the deepest memories come from just below the surface. You can taste it, see it, hear it. The sensations come back in great rushes or gentle brush strokes. They feel familiar, welcoming, inspiring everyone to explore freely in search of the next great moment. South Walton, Florida. Find your perfect beach. The Waterloo Rods Power Mag, the number one choice of EFL pros like the 2021 national champion, Kevin Aiken. Waterloo Rods, might as well fish the best. Check It Stick, the official measuring system of the Elite Redfish Series.
At the pinnacle of super high output, four-stroke outboard performance, you'll find Yamaha VMAX SHO, Yamaha's game-changing SHO technology. From exhilarating V6 models to the sleek inline fours, there's a VMAX SHO for everything from bass to bone fish. It's an extended family of four strokes, engineered for lightweight, inspiring performance, and rock solid reliability. Discover VMAX SHO and elevate your expectations. Welcome back to the Berkeley Bash and Fishing Period 2. The fish are turning on as the field looks to make a move on the leader who is currently finishing his five minute penalty for leaving the boat. The rest of the guys are starting to find a few fish. Uh, Chuck Braddock's now has 20.05 pounds. Five minutes from getting out the boat. Unreal. Yeah, but look, Chance Angel, CA's fallout was a little bit different than me. Leave the boat for any reason. Don't you do it. You can extend this net out a little bit, huh? I got all that net room. Looks like another sexer. Got one minute left in violation. Folks at home. I do like this format of tournament fishing. The single man on the boat, you do all the work, you gotta make your own decisions. Three point two zero, another scorable fish. It's challenging. It's real challenging with you on the boat. Then you're getting score tracker updates. Makes it even more challenging when you start falling behind, especially when you can you know the fish are there. Ready, sir? Yep. Fish look a lot bigger too out there than that. 615. 615. All right, boys. There's one or another one. That's what really struggled with me. I, I wasted a little too much time trying to find the mother load. Uh, right there, boys. He fell. We're trying to scare Harvey, but I think he's scaring us more than we're scaring him right now. There we go, boys. It didn't pan out, man, so. You know, on to the elimination round I go. I'll see y'all there. I had a number of refusals throughout the day. Ah, no. He did not just do that. How did he not eat that? He just thought of nothing else I'd have foul hugged him somehow. He had it in his mouth. Ooh. There's another one. I found it. Stay on there. Stay on there. Ooh, getting a net. Ah. Hopefully, this sealed it right here. Man, you want a blind cast, but. As soon as that one raises up out that grass like that last one, you gotta be cocked and loaded. 5.453. I don't have time. I have to put water in the lava now. Oh, Chuck's creeping. Oh, no way, no way. Right there. In the face. 5.05. Agreed. Thank you, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. 
Ten. That's good for Harvey. Nine. Ah, eight. Dang it. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. That ends the second round. Lines out the water. On to the elimination round. End of period two of the Berkeley Bash. We're gonna get smoked. I'd rather get smoked by these guys than anybody else. Congrats to Harvey. He's a good fisherman, no doubt. Um, but you know, to the elimination round, hopefully I could uh, win that one so I can redeem myself again in the championship round. So hopefully, Harvey, I'll be seeing you, seeing you soon, buddy. Round one, the Berkeley Bash. Qualifier for the EFL championship. Kevin Harvey, you finished with 74.4 pounds. In first place, approximately 30 pounds ahead of your second place competitor, Chuck Braddock, who has 37.95. Congratulations. Boom. <laughs> Woo, we had a lot of pressure today. Now it's just like a relief. Uh, oh, I tell you, I tell you. I mean, it starts getting in your head. Chuck still needed 30 something pounds, but I mean, this fishery has a lot of fives. I mean, evidently, a lot of fives. Uh, just as far as the number of fish, I mean, I think I really sealed it this last pond. Good thing I came back on it. There's not a ton of fish around, but all you need is one. Man, I'm pumped. Finally get my Berkeley trophy. Right here, baby. Give me some more. Mm. Coming up is your champion, Mr. Kevin Harvey. Super Smash. Ooh, ooh, giant. <laughs> Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run for life. They know reliability starts here. The Waterloo Rods Power Mag the number one choice of EFL pros like the 2021 national champion, Kevin Aiken. Waterloo Rods, might as well fish the best. A fear of failure is failure itself. The world of science rewards the ones who are willing to try and fail. Because without the courage to embrace failure, ideas remain ideas but with that courage to fail and to learn ideas can change the world the catch of a lifetime or tournament competition when it matters most you can trust the Brecknell Electro Samson scale 6.4 pounds 9.35 7.95 10.3 4.75. 7.00. Man, what a way to finish the day. 10 pounder. A 10 pounder, guys. On the money. The official scale of the Elite Fishing League. Sometimes the deepest memories come from just below the surface. You can taste it, see it, hear it. The sensations come back in great rushes or gentle brush strokes. They feel familiar, welcoming, inspiring everyone to explore freely in search of the next great moment. South Walton, Florida. Find your perfect beach. Feels good. Feels real good. That's what did the damage right here. A lot of work. A lot of work. Get you some of that, huh? Welcome to this Winning Ways segment brought to you by Visit South Walton, Florida. This is your champion, Kevin Harvey. Let's 
get the show started. Five and a half inch Berkeley power bait, grass pig. Here's the lure of choice. Um, I paired with a uh, quarter ounce tungsten on stop, twist lock hook. It's my main bait of choice. I always use the sight fish. Get out of there. I'm being a tip pounder. Boom! Twenty ten. Get a good fish. I'm not a crawfish kind of guy. I'm not a spoon kind of guy. I could just finesse fish with, like I'm fishing, you know, Texas rig is basically what I do. Berkeley power bait, grass pig. Putting in work, son. Putting in work. Look at this. Huh? Get you some of that, huh? Pretty close, huh? Conditions were fine. As a sight, uh, sight fishing angler, um, the area we were fishing in was beautiful. I mean, it was gorgeous. Uh, the marsh was beautiful. The water clarity was great. The only problem was is getting stealth mode and getting as close as you could to those fish to present a bait to them. Most of those fish I was chunking 40, 50 yards. Way out there. 150 yards, I don't know how to get him. Oh, he's still on. I'll pull down. Good fish too. When it would raise up, couldn't get any closer because they would hear me and just blow out the back of the pond. Fatty. Boom, get in there. Big as I thought we would take him. Yeah. Yeah, so it's three, any score of a fish is three to 10 pounds. Uh, this fishery, we were fishing here, um, it's known for smaller fish, five to six pound fish. Um, so to catch an eight pound fish or a nine pound fish, I think I might have caught the biggest fish, which is eight and a quarter. So I figured they would be. You ready? Ready on your watch. Eight and a quarter? 8.25. 8 and a quarter. This is a slot fish. See, on our team format, this is a fish we're looking for. 27 inch fish, fat belly. But in this format, as long as you can catch, you know, 25 pounders, I mean, you're going to have a good day. 7.70. 7 pounds. Where's that? This is just you and the clock and score tracker updates. It, it makes you speed up, it gets you off your game. That's the reason why I had a couple mishaps, a couple short strikes, just not letting the fish eat. I needed to settle down, just fish, don't worry about anybody else or that score tracker update, but it's just gonna get in your head. Uh, but this win, it means a lot. It's all on you. This is a single angler format, of course. Um, you got violations, you got penalties, you try to fish clean, you try to catch everything that comes across. And I left about 50 to 60 pounds out there. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Yeah, two minute break off penalty. Eight pounder. Dude, second one a day. Gotta be kidding me. It's all about decisions in this format. Um, one wrong decision and somebody's boom, they're on top of you. Um, I was gonna run about four or five miles outside of that area, fished, I dissected it for lunch, uh, fishing the same pattern I was fishing, uh, just small pockets and drains, what the fish were holding because the water level was so high with all this wind. And uh, decided to stay and, and looked at all my track lines and where I passed and dissected it and dropped marks on just spots that I didn't hit before. But uh, overall, it, it was a great day. He's gonna eat, he moving a little too much. This win today means so much to me. Um, my family back at home, they tuned in, they watching. All my sponsors, if it wasn't for those guys, this, none, of the, none of this was possible. Um, so this win truly, with the support I have, uh, fans at home watching, friends watching, the support. Uh, um, I mean, I get back in the truck and I just got tons of congratulations. It's, uh, it really means a lot. Just sealed the deal on a Berkeley bash. 
right here is a big check and a giant trophy waiting on me back at back at the hotel at Silver Slippers. Tough day, stressful day, but I enjoyed every minute of it. If I can have your attention, for the first time on the Elite Fishing League Tour, it's my great pleasure to present Mr. Kevin Harvey with the Berkeley Bass first place trophy in the Tidewater Elite Fishing League presented by Yamaha Outboards. And my brother, this is your beautiful champion's belt. You can put it on, you can put it over your shoulder, however you want to do it. Congratulations, 74 plus pounds. Kevin, great job. We sure appreciate you. Thank you, Pat. Wow, what a great way to kick off the season. The Berkeley Bash had it all. Breakdowns, breakoffs, big fish, and more. Dude, second one a day. But at the end of the day, one angler conquered the elements and took home the $10,000 top prize. Give me some of that. Mm. Woo! Congratulations, Kevin Harvey, on your round one win and an automatic berth into the Waterloo Rods National Championship. Tune in next week for round number two, the Silver Slipper Show, as the spotlight shifts to Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, and watch as a new set of competitors head out on Mystery Waters for their chance to take home the $10,000 top prize and the title of Elite Fishing League Champion. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Pat Malone, and we'll see you next time we hit the water on the Elite Fishing League. Please visit EliteFishingLeague.com and to catch more exciting video content, check out the Elite Fishing League on YouTube. Closed captioning provided by McLean Trailers, the official trailer of the Elite Fishing League.